Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is your daily Bible class. This particular um, parable is from Matthew chapter 24, verses 45 through 51. It's the wise and wicked servants. Who then is the faithful and wise servant, in whom the master has put in charge of the servants of his house? He gives them food at their proper time. It will be good for that servant if the master finds him doing what he is supposed to be doing when he returns. I tell you the truth, he will put him in charge of all his possessions. But suppose that servant is wicked and says to himself, My master is staying away for a long time. And then he begins to beat his fellow servants and eat and drink with drunkards. The master of the servant will come one day when he expects it not. And at that hour he will be unaware and he will be cut to pieces. And assign him a places with the hypocrites where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. This again is a teaching from Matthew chapter 24 where Jesus is again reminding his disciples and us today of the imminent soon coming of the Lord. We are supposed to be found faithful. You see, the first one was the servant that was wise. He knew that his master could come back at any time. And so he was diligently about his master's business. The second one was the wicked servant who said, Oh, my master's going to be away a long time. He hasn't come for a while. And so, you know, I'm just going to hang out with the drunkards. And when the master comes back, there is a day of reckoning. And that's what Jesus was trying to get across to his disciples and to us. We need to be the wise servants about the master's business, not the wicked servant who says, you know, I got all the time in the world. Jesus hasn't come back for 2,000 years. And so I got all the time. I can do what I want. I can eat, drink, and be merry, blah, blah, blah. But the reality is you don't know when Jesus is coming back. You don't know when that day of reckoning is going to come. And there will be a day of accounting and a day of reckoning. That day, as we learned back in the book of Revelation, is the fact that one day the books are going to be opened. Our lives are going to be examined. And in that day, we will be rewarded for what we have done. And trusting the Lord that your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. If your name is written in the Lamb's book of life, then you be that faithful and wise servant. If Don't be the wicked servant. That's what you don't want. You want to be the wise servant. And if you don't know Jesus Christ, then come to know Jesus Christ. Because the essence of both parables that I've been talking about, the one that I talked about last time that we were together is the fact that Jesus Christ is coming back, and he's coming back soon. It's like the old song says, He's coming soon, he's coming soon. With joy we welcome his returning. It may be my night, it may be night or noon. But know this, he's coming soon. He is coming soon. And I trust that you'll be ready for his coming. These parables are all about the kingdom. And in this case... I trust that you'll be the wise servant and ready for his coming, and not the wicked one. My name is Robert Dean Steele. This is your daily Bible class. You have yourself a great and godly day.